What's up guys welcome back to yet another video of custom room today we have the first build of Dovefest room which is based on android 12 for oneplus 9 and 9 pro in this video we'll be talking about whether this room can be used as daily driver and we'll also cover the customization options present on this room at the end of this video you guys can also find the installation guide so now without wasting any more time let's get started so here you can see i have my oneplus 9 on which I have installed Dovefest Room and I'm using my OnePlus 9 as a daily driver. Let me show you the software information. If you go under about section, it says platform version is 12, Dovefest version 12, which is an official build. And this comes with the 5th Jan 2022 security patch. And it also has dubbed kernel. Guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video. And we still have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request. Do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now let's take a look at the benchmark results. With Geekbench application single course code 1121 and with multi-core device code 3643. With Antutu benchmark application, my OnePlus 9 scored 7,93,535. We also did CPU throttling test and here you can see the graph. Device throttled max 80% of its performance. Average GIPS is also not that great and that's because of the dips present in graph. We get derp launcher pre-installed which also has lot many customization options. For example, you can lock the layout, turn off the notification dot and enable wallpaper zooming. Under wallpapers and style section, we have the option of themed icon and you can also change the status bar icons directly from the wallpapers and style section. We'll cover this part in the customization options. Monet works great and we do have options to use the custom color for the theming part. Here under Monet engine, you can use your custom color hex code to try out different themes on your device. All the basic functionalities like Wi-Fi calling, Volti services, alert slider and fingerprint works as expected. We get this basic AOSP camera pre-installed, but you guys can try out different Google camera applications for better pictures. We do have the support of Widevine L1. Also, if you open up Netflix application, under playback specifications, you can see Widevine L1. Maximum playback resolution is Full HD, and we also have the support of HDR10. In Play Store, it says device is certified. Though if you use safety net check application, here device doesn't pass safety net check. Though I did not face any kind of issues using payment services, I personally use Google Pay most of the time. And this was the last transaction which I did after installing this custom room. So for me, Google Pay doesn't have any kind of issues while making payment or transferring money. We do have a dedicated gaming mode and from this game space section itself, you can change the modes. For example, if you are not playing heavy game, you can choose the battery mode and the same thing goes with the standard and at last we have performance mode. So depending on your gaming, you can change the modes here and you also have the option to enable FPS. And if you guys are into BGMI, as you can see here, this room comes with the support of 90 FPS. Let me show you the graphic settings here. As you can see, combat and lobby settings are set to smooth and 90 FPS and the device is also delivering 90 FPS. So not like Oxygen OS which is restricted at 60 FPS, you guys can enjoy 90 FPS on this custom room. We do get the support of wireless power share for supported OnePlus smartphones. With just one click, you guys can search for the music which is being played around you. None of the sensors have any kind of issues. For example, axillometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, and gyroscope. Now let's also take a look at some of the customization options present on this room. So inside the settings, here we have a section of derp space. From here, you can customize a lot many things, guys. We won't go through every settings, but if you guys are installing, then you guys can check it yourself. By default, we get many options to customize the status bar icons. Lot many icon shapes are also present. And another good thing about this room is we have FOD icon picker. So as you can see here, we have so many icons for fingerprint along with fingerprint animations too. You get to see Pac-Man Edition, Star Wars, MIUI AOD, McLaren, Cyberpunk 2077 and many more. And all the animations and icon packs works as expected. You can also play around with the always on display. For example, here we have an option to enable battery level on bottom side of the always on display. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that we have a battery bar towards the bottom side of always on display. 
and also guys if you see too much of gaps between the status bar icons then just go to the customization section under miscellaneous enable small mobile type icon and disable combined signal icon that should fix the issue of spacing between the icons in the status bar under display we have this option of extra dim all other gestures like double tap to wake and double tap to sleep on the status bar works fine we also have stock oneplus settings for example you get to see touch screen gestures from oneplus dc dimming also you can customize the alert slider and vibrator strength and at last no issues with the one handed mode too and before talking about the installation process guys remember android 12 custom roms are not fully stable but they can be used as daily driver with no major issues so it completely depends on you whether you want to try out these roms or not and now let's move on to the installation guide to install Dervfest on your OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro, first of all make sure you are running the latest build of Oxygen OS 11 instead of Oxygen OS 12. After that your device bootloader should be unlocked and just download these two files. One is recovery file and the second one is ROM file. Along with that also download platform tools. Make sure to download the latest platform tools. Unzip platform tool. After unzipping, place these files inside the platform tool folder later connect your device into fast boot mode and open up command prompt in the platform tools folder by typing cmd in the address bar hit enter before flashing make sure you have properly installed fast boot drivers on your pc so for that give a command fast boot devices hit enter that should show you the serial number that means your pc have proper fast boot drivers installed now boot your device into recovery by giving the command fast boot flash boot drag and drop the recovery image and hit enter after that use the volume key and navigate to recovery mode on the top side you will see recovery mode make a selection using power key once a device boots into recovery just do a factory reset format data slash factory reset format data once that is done Go back, go to advance and for once reboot recovery. Once your device is back into recovery, tap on apply updates, apply from ADB and now on your PC you need to give a command ADB, side load, drag and drop the ROM file. Hit enter. The installation process might take around 4 to 5 minutes. Once the process is completed, you can just reboot your device. Tap on reboot system. And now your device OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro should boot into DoveFest 12. There we have the boot animation of DoveFest. So guys, this was a quick look on DoveFest ROM for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro along with the installation guide. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below or you can join our Telegram group. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.